Hello and welcome to Economics Explorer Own 101, where we explore the fascinating world of economics. In this video, we are going to talk about deflation, what it is, how it happens, and its impact on the economy. First, we define what deflation is. Put simply, deflation is a general decline in the price level of goods and services in an economy over a sustained period of time. It is the opposite of inflation, where prices increase over time. Deflation can occur for a variety of reasons. A common cause is a decrease in the demand for goods and services. When fewer people are buying products, companies can lower their prices to attract customers, leading to an overall decrease in prices. Another cause of deflation is an increase in the supply of goods and services. When there is an oversupply of products on the market, sellers may lower prices to move inventory, leading to an overall decrease in prices. So what are the effects of deflation on the economy? While a decline in prices may seem like a good thing to consumers, deflation can actually have some negative effects on the economy. On the one hand, deflation can lead to a decrease in production and economic activity. When prices are low, businesses may not have enough revenue to cover their costs, leading to layoffs and reduced investment. This can cause a downward spiral as the decline in demand for goods and services leads to a further decline in output and employment. Furthermore, deflation can lead to an increase in the real value of the debt. If the price level is falling, the amount of debt owed by individuals and businesses becomes relatively higher. This can lead to a decline in spending and investment as individuals and businesses try to pay down debt rather than invest in the economy. So, what can be done to combat deflation? One solution is for the government to increase spending or lower interest rates to stimulate demand and investment. Another solution is for the central bank to increase the money supply, which can lead to higher prices and lower real value of debt. That's all of today's video on deflation. I hope you found it informative and insightful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on economics and financing. Thanks for watching.